is a big wall moving in a big way um, from a lot of the buttons being pushed. But also there's this other thing that's going on here is the gathering of data and the analysis of data has authoritarianism contained within its DNA. Um, it is by its nature a tool for authoritarianism. Uh, and it has been used... How does big data look into our lives? James Cobble, the crisis piece. We're starting to see the merger of private data and that with data held by the state into what are called social credit systems. This is where every aspect of your behaviour is monitored and totted up by a central system to sort of score you as a person, a bit like a credit card, but predicated on all of your behaviour rather than just... Uh, and this can have a profound impact. We're starting to see systems emerge which will punish you and stop you from doing things in society based on your behaviour. And this could be as trivial as if you jaywalk, if you cross the road in the wrong place, you might lose points. If you yeah, do some community activities uh, and help your neighbours, you might earn points. And then this could be used to sort of evaluate you as a person. And this could mean, for example, better travel privileges, being able to travel first class or being denied from travelling first class to not being able to travel at all. Uh, these systems are very real because of all the data that has now helped us. So if your ears are burning and you think someone might be watching you, you're probably right. They're watching all of us. I'm telling you. In the old days, and well, food shortages, yeah, that's, we just learn to live with them, don't we? And there's a lot of positives as well with all these food shortages. I mean, we were eating too much anyway. As a nation, the government's just helping us live healthier lifestyles. It's so hard to diet on your own, isn't it? You need the support of a friend, or a loved one, or a government, or a collapsing social infrastructure. Positive too, meat, very bad for the environment. So we're actually rebuilding the polar ice caps every time we eat a scrap of lettuce. Uh, three, positive three, the human race had already cooked all the recipes it needed. There was nothing more to be done with food. We've, got, you know, we've done that, we can tick it off. We've done it. Uh, I was bored with food anyway, I've been eating all my life. If you've been doing the same thing three times a day, four, sometimes seven, or even eight times a day, you're bound to get bored. And uh, also, final positive, no more meal times. We've got all that extra time for appreciating all the selfless hard work that Albion do to keep us all safe here in Britain.